Hey YouTube, this is Sean, Griffin RC Planes. So, my friend Hank had an accident with his uh, E-Flight Apprentice, like this one here. The whole tail broke off in this area right here. And he repaired it flawlessly. And we knew after the repair that the center of gravity was going to be off. You know, just a minute uh, little bit of glue and some shish kebab skewers, you know, as a brace. You know, if that's just a gram or two, the amount of weight you're going to have to put on the front to fix the center of gravity is going to be a lot. You know, the, the, the seesaw um, effect, the teeter-totter, you know, the weight is favored towards the rear. So you have to put quite a bit on the front to make up for it. Well, he had found a couple big metal washers and put them up front kind of as a test. And he figured he figured out that that was the amount of weight that he needed to make it balance again. But having a couple big washers, you know, like taped to the top of the cow, that's not good. So I've got a couple of good ideas on where to put the the you know, the counterweights now to fix the center of gravity and a couple of couple ideas and options for you so hang on let me show you a few things all right guys so Hank's apprentice very similar exactly like this one this is mine it's, it's the first generation apprentice different color decals and different receiver different speed control other than that the exact same plane his apprentice broke clean in half right in this area and he replaced it with a couple wooden dowels or, or some shish kebab skewers and uh, some glue. I, he used a, a foam tack, I believe. It worked fine. After he made his flawless repair, it, it was so flawless that I couldn't, I kind of forgot that it actually broke when he showed up to the flying field with it. It was perfect. But you need to add some weight to the front to compensate for the new weight that you've added to the back. You know, you've got a seesaw effect here going, a teeter-totter in effect. The center of gravity is about here where my right hand is. So it doesn't take much weight to, if, well, let me back up. If you put just a little bit of weight back here, you have to add a lot more weight up here to counteract it. Okay, it's not teeter-tottering on the rear wheels, it's teeter-tottering about right here. So just the leverage. You, know, you you put a half ounce right here it's going to take you know several ounces up front so he can't he had a handful of washers to use for a test and I know the size washers he had and they weren't identical to these but he had about two ounces of weight so how can we come up with two ounces of weight to go in this plane safe and still looks good all right well here's a couple options this weight right here in my hand, they're made for like Pinewood Derby cars. And they're, they're still for sale today. I got these at Michael's, I, I think Hobby Zone, uh, Hobby Lobby, they, they carry them. I think they were like $4 and it comes with two of them and some screws. And each one weighs one ounce, two to a package. Another idea, is these are lead wheel weights for car truck tires you know what you drive when you get your car tires mounted and balanced these are weights that go in the wheel to balance your tires and i'm sure any tire shop would be more than happy to give you a couple of these that's how i got mine you know that there's when they take them off when people buy new tires and, and then they're supposed to throw these away or recycle them but you know i don't think they do that but Anyways, they'd probably give you a handful or, or they'd probably sell you one for a quarter. I took a drill and drilled a hole through here. I've done this in the past. It, it's going to take a sharp drill bit and, and, a, and a drill and, and a little bit of a, a little bit of muscle to do it because you are drilling through lead. But we've got two different sizes here to work with. What I've got here is a, a test apprentice. Look at the size of this weight here, how it can go right in the cowl. And this other one can go on this side, but you'll need to trim off about 
that much of the corners on both of these right sides here to get the cow to go back on and you can cut this off with a pair of side cutters or wire cutters you know if you don't have that you might be able to go grind it down on the edge of a sidewalk or something and and then the wheel weights which I've used before they will fit on both sides no problem these both weigh one ounce a considerable size difference this is probably probably steel or, or something like that or a lead and steel mixture and it's kind of you know, it's a soft metal of some sort the reason these notches are here is because you can break off little pieces to fine-tune how much weight you need I guess for your Pinewood Derby car I, I never did a Pinewood Derby car I think that'd be cool to do someday but hey when you make a repair to, to any airplane, especially in the rear, just a couple wooden dowels and a little bit of, of glue takes a whole lot more weight on the front end to get your center of gravity back. So I hope this helps some people out. And uh, if you guys have any more ideas that you want me to, to, to do a video on or need help with anything, drop a, a comment down below and, and, and let me know. Give me some ideas. I'll be more than happy. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Hey, if you've got any ideas on uh, some kind of video you want me to put out, you need help doing something, drop them in the comments below. And please like and subscribe and share. It goes a long ways. Thank you very much. And until next time, you'll see me here.